congratulations. Assistant to the publisher. Must be a very exciting evening for you. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, I come under that old remark of Walcott's. Uh, something about passes and uh, girls who wear glasses. You must know it. Only mark of Dorothy Parker. You stay right here. Don't move. Promise? Promise? You stay right here. Now, be a good boy. Thank you. Oh, there you are, Miranda. We can't have you being monopolized like this, Tom. Everyone's asking for you. A little noblesse please on your part, wouldn't I? Come on, now. Uh, lady. Miranda, this is P.J. Basco. P.J., uh, this is my assistant, Miranda Woodland. Hello. California grown, a product of the sun. Beddington. It's an amazing coincidence how your taste improves every time I find myself between publishers. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> um, I've enjoyed your work for a long time. Why is it that all the important encounters in one's life always occurs on an exit? You have to leave. I'm afraid so. But it was nice meeting you. I hope it happens again very soon. Well, it may, if you're a very good boy, play your cards right. Now, uh, Miranda, we have some talking to do. You stay here. P.J. is waiting for you across the street in the Plaza Bar. I want you to meet him. Meet him? Yes, yeah. Work on him like you did on Tom. We need... Hi, sweet baby. Mm. Uh, we need Bascom. That book of his is sitting at the top of the bestseller list. Everybody wants him, and I mean to get him. Now, just hold it a minute. I haven't been working on anyone, and I don't intend to work oh, on anyone. Oh, all anybody. right, all right, all right. Now, look, all P.J. wants is a drink and a chance to stare at that pretty face of yours for a while, so play along. After all, that is why I made you my assistant, isn't it? Well, then you'd better just demote me as of now. Now, look, sweetheart, if we're going to be working together, we have to be able hey, to talk hey, straight hey. to each other. Hello, you monster. I'm sure you realize how important getting Bascom is to us. I'm just starting to realize a whole lot of things. Such as? Like why I was hired. <laughs> Don't be naive. Look, there's a mirror. Look at it. Listen, I can have my pick of a thousand shapeless mop hairs from Smith and Vassar and Radcliffe who can correct commas and go for coffee, but you, 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 you've got something different, just something extra. You've got something that adds up to just plain good business. Well, I just quit the business. I'm nobody's ornament. Now, you get away from me. I uh, clock the scene in there. You just uh, you just pass the loser and you hop on the winner. Is that right? Well, I'm laying money. It's a pig basket. Now, look, you've been pushing me away too long, sweetness. If I'm on my way out, I don't want to have to write you off as a bad debt. Uh, come on. Let's... Don't touch me! Leave me alone! Everybody just leave me alone!
39, 40, 41, 42, that's the way, stretch them out, 47, 48, 49, 50. <clears throat> now for our next exercise, baby. we're going to stretch back. Oh, baby. Mother, how could I have missed you in this, this funny place so much? Baby, your clothes. Oh, it's nothing, really. I just picked it up somewhere. Oh, I know. New York. You look different, baby. No. Sort of grown up. Well, I just made some coffee. I'll pour you a cup. Coffee and dry toast, that's all I ever have in the morning anymore. This is a fabulous new diet. Your wife didn't say how long your vacation was. Well, I'm not so sure I know myself. Oh, I get it. You just want an excuse to leave if you get bored with us back here. Oh, mother. Marvelous eye makeup. Don't tell me. You know, I lived in New York myself. Not that I was ever nearly as popular as I know you must be. I'll bet you get about ten marriage proposals a week now, don't you? Hmm? You still seeing Mr. Dunbar? Oh, dear, no, no, I'm not that old, honey. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean No, there's a new it. one, new one. His name is Bert Wilson. He's an insurance. And he's not bad looking, if I do say so. Well, you'll see it for yourself. He usually comes by here for a cup of coffee in the morning. I don't know. Where is he? It's Mother, I, I really have a lot to talk to you about. Well, if there's one thing you know, baby, it's... You can always talk to me. About New York, my job, how I feel. Not all of it good, by the way. I don't know. It, it seems very difficult sometimes. I'm sure it's your same old trouble. You just take everything too seriously. Now, look. You listen to me, and I'm going to tell you something. If you could only learn to... To have a little fun. Yeah. That's it. Go with life. Now, if you could just learn to do that. Oh, I think that's him now. Baby, would you get it? I look like a disaster area. I really have to talk to you. Oh, we will, Angel. We will. Okay, I got it. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, it's me. When? This morning. Uh, listen, uh, I have to see you. I have to talk to somebody. Uh, why, sure, I, um... Uh, who is it? It's that guy about the, uh, salvage job. Hello? Doug? Uh, listen, uh, I'll be right out. No, I see, I'm, I'm just leaving right now, and I could be down at the pier in a few minutes, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye. Return of the native. When did you get back? This morning. Staying? Maybe. For a while. Great. I'd like to have you see my place. The stuff I've been doing. No more tired seagulls and crashing waves. Found something new. Hey, uh, would you like to get a bite to eat with me at the accident? I'll tell you all about it. No, thanks. Still can't resist me? It's just that my taste is so consistent. I'm meeting Doug. Dropping by a wedding present, no doubt, huh? Wedding present? Uh, Doug's married, you know. Oh, you uh, don't know. Married? Barbara Walton. Great girl. It's been uh, real Ozzie and Harriet time so far. 
Thanks for the advice. Changed much. No. Why are you home? Just a vacation. It's going okay then? Fine. Great, even. I heard you were an editor or something. Well, there's about ten different ways to spell that word, I'm afraid. I was wondering when you were going to bring that up. You were so uh, considerate on the telephone. Well, I, I didn't want her to. Seems strange. When a man can't admit he's married in front of his wife. Her name is? Barbara Walton. She must be the fastest thing on two feet, considering the amount of time it took her. I'm sorry. That's all right. It was pretty fast. Everything just seemed to go right. Suddenly there it was. I'm glad. It's so very nice to find someone. Any children in the near future? Maybe. In a year or two. Doug, I know it doesn't mean much, my saying this now, but I am sorry about the way things turned out. It wasn't your fault. It was mine. I, I should have... Running... running off like that. So stupid. <sighs> I can't even remember why now. I didn't think you were ever... coming back. I, I, I've got to see this man about a salvage job, and if I don't... Well, you better get going, then. Yes. Um... back in town? Phone's been ringing all morning. Oh? Huh? To tell me that. I saw her. She stopped down at the shack. Oh? Just roaming around, I guess, and saying hello. Mm. Happy wonder, huh? There's nothing there any anymore. It's over. I believe you. Don't have to do that. Hey, I got 
an idea. Why don't you sit down? You can't imagine what this does for my sense of personal magnetism. I didn't know there was room for expansion. Well, there's always room for self-improvement, always. You see, Doug? How did you uh, leave the water? Muddy or clear? Clear. What were you expecting? Oh, I don't know. I just uh, learned a long time ago to drink upstream from you as well. Seems happy, doesn't he? Hey, I have an idea. Yeah? How about we change the subject? Great. Hmm. Great. Uh, you want to pick a category? Hmm. Okay, uh, like... Uh, what are you doing back here? To see Mom, to get some sun. Oh, good thinking. November's a sensational month for that. Sensational. I don't know why I even came here. You going back for another round? He's way ahead on points now. Those are boxing terms, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And you're a heavyweight, so don't pick on him. Stay out. You too. I don't know what you're doing here. How badly things must have been for you in New York to make you come back. But you got a real clear shot at wrecking a couple of people's lives. Stop it. When I'm through. So if you plan on staying a while, I'd uh, drop the John's other wife routine before it's too late. You got first prize in the beauty contest. Leave it that way. Let other people live. Or if you uh, want to make uh, waves, jump into a small tub with somebody your own size. You ought to charge me $50 an hour. What a service. Nothing you're not used to. Go to the head of the line. Take my seat. Oh, uh, let me light that cigarette for you. Say, uh, oh, sit, sit still. Uh, don't, don't move. I'll get the door. Anything else I can get you? That's what you came back for. More of the same. That's what you're used to, that's what he gave you, and that's what you want. Door's always open. You remember the address? Hey, baby, come take a look. You'll just die. Of. I look like a wind-up toy. Those are my clothes. Isn't it amazing? I mean, we're just almost the same size. I admit it's a little short. Please take them off. Well, baby, it doesn't do any harm. I mean, I think it's funny, don't you? Please. Actually, it just goes to show you what little time separates us. I mean, well, sometimes with people that don't know, I tell them that you're my sister. Well, it's it's not too stupid. We could be. I know it's silly, but you know, it, it makes me feel good. I don't need a, a sister. Well, you're a big girl now. You certainly don't need a mother. By the way, Mr. Beddington called this morning from New York, and he wants you back. Now, I don't mean to pry, and it's certainly none of my business, but... Well, it didn't sound to me like, like you were on a vacation. I wanted to talk to you about that. You don't have to explain a thing. Oh, baby, you don't know how lonely I've been without you. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe it was too soon for New York. Maybe you could just stay here for a while and, and things could be like they used to be. Just you and me, together. I don't know. Oh. Baby, you don't know what it means to me to have you here, to be able to look at you. You know, I've, I'd forgotten how really beautiful you are. I'm going to be late for the beach. Uh, there's not much sun this course. time of year. You run along, and we'll have a good long talk later, okay?
of them everyday things. Maybe uh, a little distorted for fun. Symbols of our time. I'm afraid I can't take it too seriously. I think it's pretentious and easy. Your privilege. That's what it's all about. You like it, it's great. You don't, it stinks. Who cares? Obviously you do. Ah, but that's me. No reason for you to. Gotta get over that. Indeed. Thinking that things are all good or bad. You think marriage is great? Ask a divorced man. Think it's bad? Ask a newlywed. Question is, does it work? Sounds simple enough. I think you can handle it. I'm not sure I can handle anything right now. See, that's the first feeling you've got to get rid of. Trouble is, you're caught in the old tennis game. You're anticipating the return shot before you've even served. You have this thing about sports. You got this thing about rules. So many, I'm amazed you can even shake your head. Try me. Stop resenting the fact that men find you attractive, number one. Stop treating your uh, beauty as a shortcoming. Is this going to take long? If you don't want to listen, leave. That's what I mean. See? Do what you want. Do what you think will work. A little while ago, you were accusing me of being a potential life wrecker because I may have wanted something. Now you seem to have changed your course. I said find out what works and do it. Doug didn't work for you doesn't work for you. You both proved that a long time ago. The fact that you don't want to let go doesn't mean love. Just, uh, no sense. Doug happens to be the only good person I've ever been involved with. The only person who is willing to accept me on my terms as a person. What you mean is, he kept his hands off. If those were my terms. You still don't see why you took off. What person wants someone who will accept them on any terms? What kind of a guy do you think you can attract that way? Well, it doesn't really matter. You'll uh, both be uh, circling each other for a while. How dramatic. You're a beautiful girl with a justifiable confidence in your ability to attract men. You think being beautiful is the greatest thing any girl has got going for? I sure do. Look at the time it gives you to work on your personality. Listen, I know girls who look like that parking meter and have a smaller vocabulary. Try going to them with, uh, your hang-up. I'll bet you've never really liked a man in your whole life. You mean my face doesn't have that inner glow? Now that you mention it? No. Well, maybe that's because I've been thinking about other things, like long-term intentions. Every man's got the same ones for openers. Look at me. I think you look great. You're the ripest piece of fruit that's ever hung around here. That's what I see. That's what makes me want to know you. There are other kinds of men. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard it all. I figure you've got about an hour of sun left. Maybe you ought to get it. How thoughtful. Hey, Princess, fair warning. If and when you plan a return trip, come as a woman or save yourself the walk. Because I'm not Doug and I'll never play your game. can do is say no. She sure looks bugged. You guys got about half the time it takes for me to get to you. Hey, man, cool it. We didn't know the owner was in front of us. I really want 
wanted that. I suppose I've always known when you did. It's just a... I don't know what to do anymore. There doesn't seem to be any place that I fit in. You always did with me. You know that. Not now. Well, what do you want me to say then? I don't want you to say anything. Maybe it would be better if we just didn't see each other anymore. No. I need a friend. I really do. But that just doesn't seem possible for us anymore. It doesn't have to be like that, really. Don't. You're not prepared to do anything about it. And I'd be very disappointed in you if you were. Will you stop playing games? You twist things up so much, I don't know what it means anymore, what I mean. Well, if that's true, and I suppose maybe it is, then I'm sorry I never should have come back. Oh, hi. I'm Barbara. I don't know if you remember me. I was a couple of years behind you. I remember. It's nice to see you. Would you like to stay for lunch? We have plenty. No, thanks. Oh. You could do me one favor. Stay in town for a while. I don't understand. If you leave now, I'll never know where I stand. Pots of boil. What's on the menu? She's very pretty, isn't she? Who? Beautiful, even. Oh, yeah. I guess so. Seems a bit frantic, though. I really didn't notice. Poor girl, having been put upon by so many. Hey, there's good TV tonight. Great movie. How long is she staying? I don't know. She... You want to cut it out? Funny. That was my line. Oh, honey. I'm not a child. Come on, now, what's the matter? You know I didn't quit the priesthood to marry you. I did know other people. Don't you think that's reasonable, huh? Anything you say, sweetheart. Listen to me. Come here. Miranda's in pretty bad shape right now, and there's nothing wrong with my trying to help her out, is there? Well, just so long that we both agree what comes under that heading. <laughs> Anything I say. Anything. With Miranda? It's not the way I heard it. You're talking yourself into something. Well, unfortunately, I don't have anything to do with it. Somehow, for some reason, I'm becoming, I'm becoming an outsider. That's ridiculous. Oh, is it? Oh, you don't mope around here blaming me for your having to quit school? That's not true. Punishing yourself through me and making our marriage some kind of atonement for your failure with her. Can we start this evening over again? Oh, well, I'd like to. But we're going to have to face it sometime. 
ever since we've been married, she's been hanging over us like a shadow. Now, we both knew that sooner or later she'd come back. I don't know who you've been talking to. But it's over. Understand? Over! Who are you trying to convince, me or yourself? <laughs> Gentlemen, your applause for the couple number two. to be talked to at all. Baby. Baby, just what is it that you want from me, huh? Nothing anymore. I came back because I thought you might have a few answers for me. I got them in spades. Okay. Where are you going? Oh, Carrie Grant's taking me to an opening. Hey, Edie. I gotta get going. I'll call you later. You'd better go get him. I'll be gone in a minute, and you'll hate yourself in the morning. Don't wait up for me. Okay, sis? <laughs> have a rubber string hidden somewhere. Sponsored treasure hunt, why don't you? I give up. You drunk? No. But I'm willing to try. Got anything? Yeah, help yourself. I'm not going anywhere. You rehearsing for a play? I've just come to a few realizations, that's all. For example? Next question. I haven't kissed anyone like that in a long time. Almost forgotten how. You don't mind if I uh, make sure of something, do you? Last time I was kissed with that much passion, I had to pay a dollar at a church bazaar. Meaning? Meaning that there's such a thing as feeling. You may have heard of it. You're always complaining about others not having it. How dare you? Easily. 
I'm not an escort service, and I don't intend to be treated like one. I had no idea the treatment was so shabby. I know. That's the saddest part. Hold the pity. That's one thing I don't need from you. That's one thing you don't need from anybody. You got enough pity going for you to win first prize in a love loan column. Now listen. If I thought there was one grain of truth in your whole performance here tonight, you couldn't have driven me away with a stick. But you want somebody to bust a bottle of champagne over your bow, and you've got the wrong guy. And on these terms, I think anybody over 18 is. Thank you so much. You don't want to hear it, and I don't want to say it. But it's the truth. You seem to hold the West Coast franchise on the truth. Well, congratulations, but I'm not by. Great. Go pick on somebody else. You know, you really miss something. I held the pity. You hold the modesty. You know, I think you're loathsome. Don't 
Don't you see? That's it. No one has to be hurt. But we'll have to tell her. I love Barbara very much. I mean that. I thought you just said that. We can make it work. Somehow it all can work. We can still be with each other when we want to. I said I was here and I meant it. And I'm a hobby. I'm not talking about hobbies. Not for you. Not for anyone. Don't ask me to give up the only good thing I've ever accomplished because... Of... so I wasn't. That's not true. No. No more. Please go away. You gonna invite me in? Please. What do you want? I've got uh, airline schedules, free open limousine service to the airport, anything. In a day or two, maybe. Right now, I I take a fire. You'll have to settle for a heater. Hang on. It's, uh, portable. Yeah. The only trouble is there's only three guys we can lift it. And I'm not one of them. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I got this free with a box of detergent. Are there no illusions left for me? We all have a right to, to change. Before your glasses will be clutter. Whoever she is, she's very good looking. You noticed that, huh? And her face is starting to take on that inner glow. That too. I'm very happy for her. Imagine how she feels. an action-packed Western lineup you won't want to miss. 
The action begins with the Westerners. See you at noon. Now stay tuned for another life right here on CBN Cable.